Hey guys, um, so today is superhero day. That's why I'm wearing a superhero attire and Bailey has her superhero attire on as well. A week ago, a shooting happened near our town where we live in Townville. Townville, it's near Anderson, South Carolina, and we live in Greenville and you know, I never would have imagined something like that happening so close to us. The shooter was a young man in high school and he shot his father and then he went to an elementary school. And at first he had just wounded the little boy. He shot him in the leg. Then he passed away on Saturday. And today that's why we're wearing our superhero stuff because the parents asked everybody just to remember their little boy in superhero attire. And can I tell you, I can never, imagine the pain that these parents are going through and it makes me want to hug my little one a little bit closer tonight and pray a little bit harder for her and the people around her um so if you have little ones uh that's my prayer is that you love on them hug them and um just be there for them i think my lens is fucking up there we go it changed but yeah just hug them love them a little bit longer teach them to love others be there for them and listen to them because our little ones need us to be the great example of what it's like to be like christ as i've been sitting here thinking about my job that i do i'm a children's director at our local church and thinking about um everything that happened with that shooting um you know you may be thinking that your kids don't understand or they may be asking questions and you know when there are times like this when things do happen whether it's in the community or whether it's a national they're going to hear about it kids know way more than we think they know because um, they either see it on the news or watching it or hear it even if they're in the other room or they have friends that are talking about it or they ever hear teachers talking about it um, the greatest thing that you guys can do as parents during a tragedy like this when something bad happens is to be honest with them. Doesn't mean you give them every single open detail. You, you word it in terminology that they're going to understand. You can show them that, um, that, you know, this is a prime example of evil in our world. It's a time, you know, Jesus said that there would be things like that that happen in this um, world. It's um, John 16, 33, it says, in this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I've overcome the world. Knowing that Jesus is the greatest of all and that there are reasons that we may not understand why this happened right now. Um, just comforting our kids, loving our kids, answering those questions, and if we don't know the answers to those questions, saying that we don't know, praying with our kids, praying for our community together, those are some things that you can do as a family. But really listening to your kids and letting them know, you know, it's okay for them to be scared or afraid. Because that's a part of being human. That's uh, emotions that are okay to feel that. But showing them that there is comfort in Jesus and comfort in that their teachers are going to take care of them. That their coaches are going to take care of them. And that you're going to take care of them and be there for them. Those are just some thoughts I had as I was going about my day of getting Sunday prepared, of uh, thinking um, what it would be like to have my kid there, what it would be like to have an elementary kid, because right now my kid doesn't go to school. Um, I know for me, I deal with anxiety, so something like that happen makes my anxiety go up more and stresses me out and scares me, but I can't let it do that. I have to remember that God is in control and pray lots of prayers um so those are just some thoughts on this day today of not so good but in a way it's been good to see the community come around and love on this family so i'm praying for them i hope you are too so i'm getting to enjoy the the sound upgrade in the youth auditorium but also you can see our supply room some of the things that i do as a children's director is i get everything months in advance um, set up. So right now I'm working on actually November week two. So um, that's some of the stuff that I do as a as a drill instructor. See, there's all of my weeks done. So um, 
Now we got some Dave rocking out. Yeah, bringing out the 90s. Um, I'll try to get back to you guys in a little bit when there's another break in the music. So, some other things that I do is I set up our areas monthly and weekly. I make sure our volunteers are in place for Sunday with switching them to where they need to go. And then I also um, just love on them and pray for them and I love when our kids that attend on Sunday and pray for them and let me um, actually turn on the light so you guys can kind of see what we've been doing in preschool. Preschool is doing the great adventure and I'm going to turn you guys around so you can kind of see we got a camping theme set up and our awesome guy Greg he did the roofing and our numbers which is pretty cool so our kids are learning about the great adventure we do um, double things for our room so the chairs right now the metal chairs are for CR but I also set up all of our curriculum for Sunday and um, another thing I will be doing today is finishing up editing our curriculum we are finishing up editing on December can you believe it we're already at the end of the month and so if you guys have been watching this and you're wondering what that is let me tell you on Sunday nights in our household we do pretzels and pizza and I've been making our own pizza and this past Sunday I made pizza and cut it and was about to eat it and the cheese fell off and the sauce burnt my face right there so if you've been looking at that being like what in the world's going on with her face that is what is going on another day in kids ministry is in the books um today was a lot of planning for curriculum for december and getting sunday morning stuff ready just the odd and end things that occur um, during the week and tomorrow will be some budget planning and meeting about kids singing in the service in december now i'm on the way to get my bailey boo what do you have so Bailey has her super um, Superman shirt on too for Jacob. I want to go Jacob. We're gonna go to Disney World in January. Where are we going right now? A minute. So we're going home. See the puppies. All right, here we go. All right, so we're home now and we're taking the doggies out and getting ready to cook some dinner in a few minutes. I have. Sarah out with me first. Uh, we've been together for a really long time, Sarah and I. She's gonna be eight years old this uh, at the end of this month, so she's my girl. I love her. Now we have Riley, and Riley turned four in September. We adopted her three years ago, so we love her too. She's our crazy one who is gonna get a haircut next week, thank goodness. And Bailey's riding on her little car that needs to be charged but she continues to ride on it and loves it it's such a beautiful day and jason's not home yet so i'm gonna let bailey ride her tricycle for a little bit you gonna ride your tricycle show everybody how you pedal your tricycle good job baby what does mommy say yes what are you doing, Bailey? I'm <laughs>